Hi, my name is Eddie Kramer. I'm a record producer and engineer. And I love to mix stuff that's in the box and out the box, what I call a combination of the best of the analog and the best of the digital worlds. I love to combine them both. In my world, when I get a challenge like a very old tape, for instance, of Jimi Hendrix's that needs a lot of work and a lot of restoration, that's where the Waves plugins really get a serious workout. During the time I was working at Electric Lady Studios, which was from the time we built it, which was in 1969, opened the studio in 70, all the way through the late 70s, um, the DBX unit, once we got hold of it, was the staple of our outboard racks. It was so damn reliable and it was so predictable in the sense that if you put a signal in, whether it's a bass, guitar, amplifier, or it's a bass drum or a snare drum or something, squash the hell out of it, two to one or four to one compression ratio, bam, it's done. You didn't have to think about it. And it worked. The guys at Waves are really clever at analyzing a vintage piece of gear and coming up with a plugin that actually works and does precisely what the original was designed for and then up the ante and making it a much more usable device in today's age. My first impression of the Waves DBX160 limiter was astonishment. Uh, been trying it out, put it up on a bass guitar, changed the patch, went to the original, pulled the patch, listened. We set it up, of course, the same way with the same settings, identically matched levels. I couldn't tell the difference. I mean, we, when we put it in on the mix, there is virtually no difference. It's stunning. I love the DBX160 plugin. It's got so many advantages over the original. Sidechain, high pass filter, fabulous. There's a, a wonderful little knob, which I thought was so cool. You can bring the noise of the original unit back in. I thought that was excellent. That's really cool. Gives some of the old character. In fact, you can use it uh, in, as a link in stereo, which of course you couldn't do with the old one. The other advantage I found is this really cool thing, which is a mix blend. So you can bring in the original signal and then you bring in the compressed signal and sort of blend the two together. You can either make that compressed signal way up front and put a little bit of the original signal behind or do the reverse. It's just a very cool trick to be able to use on vocals or guitar or drums. You can throw tremendous amounts of level at it, get tremendous amounts of compression and no distortion. I mean, it just slams if you want it. Or if you want it gentle, you do that too. But it's, it's very versatile. And I mean, I could use it on vocal, I'd use it on bass drum, use it on bass guitar, overheads. The 160 is the workhorse of the industry, as far as I'm concerned. It's, like I said, it's terribly reliable, which in this day and age is, is, is a wonderful thing.